Welcome everyone, Justice Wachag here with a new episode. Hello, greetings. I was on the internet in the middle of the wee hours of the morning searching for who knows what, and I've come across one of the witnesses in the Charlie Adelson trial, Junum Chinda, and I know I might be mispronouncing her name, one of the girlfriends of Charlie Adelson that I don't think she was helpful to the prosecution. I didn't really pay too much attention to her testimony. I was so much more focused on all the wiretap recordings and all the um, other testimony and things. But anyway, this is Charlie Adelson and was saying um, 2016 Vegas, as you can see on your screen. And he looks um, 20 some years younger in this picture. And this is two years after he had put out a hit and had Dan Markell, Professor Dan Markell murdered savagely in his driveway. And here he is laughing and smiling like nothing's happened, living as a free man while well, he is in prison now, incarcerated. And this was an Instagram, by the way, Instagram of Junum China that I was on the site. Hopefully she's not gonna make it private now after I've put this on blast. I was trying to see if there were any pictures of her with Wendy, but, and she's also um, on a side note was a Hooters um, wait, pers wait staff person. The pictures look fine. I mean, they look like what you'd expect from Miami. I'm not saying nothing. I don't want her to put her head together with the Adelsons and put a hit out on me. So let me be quiet, because these people like to put out hits and get people set up to get killed. We should be hearing about arrest warrants for Wendy and Donna Adelson anytime soon. Donna Adelson, they need to come knock on the door of that condo and put cuffs on and put them in the Tallahassee jail and have them awaiting trial. And uh, this is coming next. Donna and Wendy will be arrested in no time. More evidence on the, by the way, for Donna than for, um, let me see what this is. What does this say? Now here come the ads and all that. I didn't want all that. This says prosecutor refused to arrest former brother-in-law. Okay. Well, they've, he's, we're past this. He's been convicted. But anyway, I'm going to end on that note. You see, this is the site and um, all the pictures. And I'm going to come back later with more videos. And I, the next video is going to be called Ruth's Justice because I'm going to start branching out into other things. But I want it to be in the spirit of Ruth's Justice. You got justice. It's not over yet. Wendy and Donna are next. And we're going, we're still working and searching for justice. Have a good day, everybody.